Morning, girls. How are we doing back here again with Chantel? Probably not salad, but a whole pile of carrots. This is making homemade creamy cauliflower and cheese soup with crispy pita chips. I am so excited. It's a cooking video. You guys know I like the cooking videos. Some Sometimes. Sometimes they're the worst thing that ever existed ever. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to go straight into it. I've got, like, I don't know, like six videos behind now or something like a seven, eight. I don't know. I'm going to catch up. I'm going to do probably three a video like I did last time I needed to catch up because I'm a busy boy. This was 21 minutes long, though, so I feel a wee bit sad. Let's go. Well, hello, guys. Hello. Well, hello, guys. Well, welcome back to you. Well, hello, guys. <laughs> Why is she coming across like she's like Mrs. Doubtfire or something like that? we like, oh, well, hello, guys. Welcome to my kitchen. We're going to cook some creamy cauliflower and cheese soup today. My kitchen here. My kitchen here. Excited and feel very good about myself because are you kneeling on the ground <laughs> is she kneeling the way she's repositioned there is she kneeling on the ground to be in for like i know she's short but is she kneeling on the ground to be in frame here god why are you so fucking shit i um I, like uh, a domestic goddess today i um do you I guess you look like one. <laughs> what was it, those fertility gods in Polynesia, the big fat ones? Ah, oh, you look like those. I cleaned my entire kitchen, which sure you I will admit has taken a little bit of a nosedive. Your kitchen's like fucking three feet wide. How the fuck did it take you all day? Um, cleanliness wise, um, sure. um, since I had a um, uh, bad uh, sciatica uh, flare up. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, are, are, are we still having the bad sciatica flare up? Like, it's kind of seemed to be coming and going all and all and There's a new thing I'm planning on doing, I'm not really sure, but I went and I watched her most recent live stream, and I kind of, like, took timestamps and notes, and I wasn't sure if I should do a quick bit where I'm just, like, summarizing it for you, as opposed to, like, me doing a reaction to it. So I'm watching it two times speed, and quickly taking notes, so I'll quickly say, you know, during the live stream, she talked about this, and maybe play the quick clip of it. Let me know if you're interested in something like that. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, she's still potentially a sciatica. So, like, where's this coming from? This is from, like, a week ago now. I just say, like, oh, yeah, it did, it did because I had a sciatic flower. So, like, apparently, you're still in the middle of it. And it was just, you know, I was hardly able to move at one point. So, yeah. you know. But you weren't cleaning, you weren't cooking during that. So, how did your kitchen get filthy because of your sciatic flower when you weren't, like, cooking at all? You were ordering food in every day, like you said. And... I'm kind of stubborn and was teetering on having a maid for a while or like a cleaner, but we never did end up getting wait, one. Wait, wait, so the maid's not because of sciatica? The sciatica came ages after the maid thing. What the fuck? And um, I just cleaned everything myself. I sure, cleaned bro. the oven, the stove. Oh my god, um, really? Appliances, air fryer, all the dishes. I love she says that like anyone should like be impressed when it's like literally the bare basic shit that even like children can help around the house with. <laughs> and it's just like, guys, I even, I even c c cleaned the oven. Yeah, I see, I don't need a maid. <laughs> Imagine. We're done, the pods, um, the floor is washed. Oh my God, um, the bare basics. I'm, you know, a chicken, I'm I have a roast chicken in the oven. And oh my God. To be making. Um, a domestic goddess, she can do literally the bare minimum. Oh my God. I can't believe she said I feel like a domestic goddess because she washed her floor. Um, some, and I'll show you. I'll show you how I season my chicken and everything in a minute. Are you out of breath from speaking? Jeez, it's been a minute and a half of speaking. She's out of breath. But uh, I'm going to be making some oh my God. cheesy cauliflower. Is she already starting to sweat? How are you sweating? You're kneeling. Soup. So I can't wait. I'm I've so excited. I've been wanting to make this for a while. Now, I'm going to be doing a uh, lot of cooking, all right? Because I'm- Of wasting time, of dragging this fucking video out. We're two minutes into your cooking video. We haven't cooked yet. Kind of challenging myself. You've sure. seen grocery hauls where we've gotten hundreds of dollars worth of food. Is this an actual thumbnail to her grocery haul? Like, what's she looking at? <laughs> is this, does she seriously make this thumbnail to try and pretend that Sal is there? Her smiling off screen. Look at this fucking thing. Who would look at that and go like, ah, that's a good picture. That's the one I'm going to choose. <laughs> look at this. Even like the little push. Why do you actually show your groceries in the grocery haul? <laughs> Jesus Food. fucking Christ. And I don't want it to go to waste. Luckily, like mashallah, all of it does. a lot of it is still actually really good. Um, so a lot of it is actually really good. Like, guys, have you seen my vegetables? They're only like a little freezer burned. It's like the ice age happens. <laughs> like, those are like the worst looking vegetables ever. Like, I, I want to know what her idea is. Like, they're still usable. Is because she thought those vegetables were still useful. Or is it like, is it like the bread she's like cutting around the mold? Oh, we have a lot of like things I can cook with. So I'm going to be challenging yeah, myself to not order out, not order groceries until I really need to. I'm sitting here eating my yogurt again, by the way. Like, wasn't your last video you getting like a takeout, like pizza? <laughs> like, like, come on. 
all right? So I'm going to use everything I have here, and it's going to be fun. Gonna, it's going to kind of be like a challenge. And maybe you guys can do it too at home. You know, a lot of the times we say... We can all do the challenge together, guys. Do you know what the challenge is going to be? The cook uh, cook challenge. The cook cook for yourself and not get take our challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone in the audience, join in. Wait, wait. Are you all already do. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> How are you getting that? You're so fat. You don't have a second chin. You've got a second eyelid. What the fuck, bro? In the cupboards when we're hungry and we say, you know, I have no food. No, we have a lot of food. We just don't uh -huh. feel like eating it. So I'm going to try. No, you're too lazy to cook it. That's it. It's not your, oh, you don't, you don't feel like it. No, you're too lazy to cook it. That's the problem. That's why you're 450 binds, bro. Try to take things that we have in the cupboards and in the freezer and the fridge already. Um, oh, yeah. And which is, it's not a terrible amount, but we're going to see what we can do. Okay. We're going to try to make delicious little meals. Why don't, see, wouldn't like the first thing you're doing, if this is like your big amazing plan, this is our new challenge, cat. Wait, I just noticed that because I was like, bye, pa uh, time potato, bye bye. Welcome back, Spud Bud. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys tell I was getting ready to film more <laughs> in the background there? Do you know the first thing you should be doing in this challenge is showing us everything that's in your cupboards. Like, wouldn't that be the first step in this challenge? It's like the challenge of don't buy any more food and don't waste any more food. I'm like, shouldn't you just like show us everything in your cupboard and say, guys, this is what I have to work with. That'd be the first thing I'd do. Feels out of it. And uh, I think also not ordering up for me for a while will also be a healthy move. So there's that motivation I behind it. I haven't looked. I, I guarantee she had like a mukbang takeaway thing. At least two videos. I'll say within the next two videos. Well, I say domestic goddess because I've always wanted to be one. I've never been somebody who's enjoyed taking care of my home. Uh, enjoyed. I mean, I love my home when it's clean and, and you feel accomplished <laughs> taking care of your things, you know. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? We saw the luxury villa. The place was actually a pigsty. That was actually the most disgusting place I've ever fucking seen. You'd wipe your feet on the way out of that place. That's how fucking nasty it was. I like having a clean house. Okay, bro, Jesus. And I've just never been one to really enjoy doing that. So I feel really positive and really happy today that I did those things. And I know some people, you know, have to juggle working full time, have to juggle like- This is like Amberlin level of, I did the apparent bare minimum for a normal adult existence. I'm a domestic goddess. Please shower me with prayers. Two and a half kids and, and still maintain their home and feed their uh -huh. family. And honestly, if you're one of those people, pat yourself on the back because that is... Pat yourself on the back doing the bare minimum. I'm so impressed with you guys because I I literally don't do anything with my entire life. And I film maybe 20 minutes of content a day and that's basically it. But like ugh, cleaning, <laughs> it's difficult, guys very difficult for a lot of people and i'm one of those people i couldn't even imagine if i had to do all of those things you know so just yeah, taking care of my home right now is a big thing for me especially with how i'm feeling so but i'm getting better at it. how are you feeling I'm fat diabetic fat, fat. <laughs> that's really all i have to go back to what's the how i'm feeling you're currently kneeling on the ground i guarantee that would fucking set your sciatica off you're able to set for large long car journeys you're able to walk around fine in the scrub grinds, chasing camels and getting kicked by them. You're absolutely fine for all of that shit, but oh, guys, oh, I'm just not well enough to uh, clean right now. <laughs> what? And I'm slowly feeling better, and so I'm excited. Slowly. So I want to. It is the slowest recovery I've ever heard of. <laughs> how, how long have we been doing the sciatic and bed bind thing? Like a month now? It is the slowest recovery. I have ever fucking heard of, and it is genuinely fucking pathetic. She thinks she can milk it this long. I have a really, I have some cheese. That's probably some cheddar cheese. That's probably no. gonna go bad. You've too. got cheese. You also have. This bitch has got cheese, guys. This, she's got cheese. That's the one thing I didn't think she'd have when literally all she buys is cheese. A um, cauliflower. Is this more that's cheese? Going to be bad soon as well. Is that frozen? It looks like it's got ice on it. And some carrots. So all this food I'm using. I thought that had ice on it. Maybe I'm wrong. Using is going to be bad soon, and I want to use it. So I yep. thought, what better way? Like you know, if you have a bunch of leftover vegetables, if you have a bunch of leftovers in general in the fridge, throw it all in a casserole or a stew or a soup or something like that. Is she really trying to teach us how to like, I don't just exist in general? It's like, bro, like we know. I think most people know how to deal with like basic food, <laughs> like stew. It's like, oh my god, train me how to make a stew. It's a stew, bro. So for this, I'm going to be making a soup. Now, I'm going to be doing it my oh, way yeah. in particular because That's not there's a so many different recipes out there, right? So this is going to be very... Isn't my way? Is she, has she, is she a big fan of, like, case cooking? <laughs> Isn't it always just like, I made beef casserole my way. And it's always just, like, 
pork or something like that because she fucked up somewhere along the line. So there's just like no beef and there's no casserole. I was like, beef casserole, my way. It has fish and chips in it. <laughs> Very simple. I'm not going to be using flour. Um, I don't feel like making a roux to make it thicker. Oh my I God, think so blending the vegetables will make the soup thicker. So no shit. yeah, yalla, let's start. All right. Yeah. Ugh. I love she said it looks like it's going to go bad soon. It looks like it's already going bad. Even that fucking, like, even the carrot, like, that end's kind of just done for. Nope. Are we just gonna waste more time doing this? Oh my god, I can't believe we're actually. How long does this last for? Okay, not too much longer. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. Do we get 20 seconds? Ugh, what the fuck happened to that chicken? Did someone fuck that chicken? What? It looks like it's. It's anus is prolapsed. It's very. Floopy back here at the rear end of it. What happened to it? Did Salah get near it? Did someone tell him it was a Christian chicken and he fucked it to death? Like, what the fuck happened there? Um, sorry, I'm totally just, I'm just staring at the chicken's asshole right now. I don't know, don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> oh yeah, just the, the sheer gall of her to put 20 seconds for just spraying a cauliflower with some water. Because like, oh, this will get me another mid-roll lab. All right, so here's how I prepare my chicken it. for roasting. Oh, so you're the one who fucked it up the asshole. Okay. I just uh, make a rub with olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, uh, seven spices, <laughs> onion and garlic powder, black pepper, okay. and some sea salt. Yep. And then I uh, bake it. It's just going to be yet another one of those ones where it's just like, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you how much I use because I just didn't. <laughs> In the oven. Fantastic. While the chicken's cooking, I prepare some basmati rice by soaking it in some water. Just okay. wanted to show you my- Maybe guys, I'm tripping balls. Okay, we all know. I'm kind of stupid. It's the Irish in me. I do apologize. Making homemade creamy cauliflower and cheese soup with crispy pita chips. So far, I have seen a, a, a fucking chicken and <laughs> a fucking chicken and rice. None of that's here. <laughs> None of that's here. I clean kitchen a little bit. Wow. Added new foil to the element. <laughs> Kitchen. I changed the tin foil. <laughs> Can't believe that. I don't know if that's standard. We don't do that here. I have no idea. <laughs> but I don't know if that's standard or not. Which helps keep them clean underneath. Wow, Pots are clean. My floor is clean. At that your floor is soaking. Why is your floor wet? That was kind of painful with my sciatica. Why is your floor so wet still? <laughs> Did you see as he just mop it and immediately start walking around on it? You're meant to let it dry so you don't leave like wet footprints in it. But it's not perfect and it's still drying, but yeah. you know, at then least it's clean Then why are you enough. doing it? And here we have my uh, counter space. Okay, counter space, window that doesn't open all the way, fantastic. Like, it doesn't really look overly clean if I'm being really honest with you. Like I made the point, I remember making that point the second she fucking moved in here. It's like cutting boards is stuck behind that. Anyway, you, ha you, ha you definitely have enough room. You don't need to put your cutting board behind your fucking like, your, your uh, uh, what the fuck am I even trying to think of here? Faucet, I guess. It's weird because it's got the weird extendy hose on it. Like, but like, I said the second I saw it, this is too shallow for how high that's up. And I'm glad to see because it has splattered everywhere. Also, there's no way she can reach up here. So I have to work with when I'm chopping things up. I leave a little crack of my window open and the fan on. Uh -huh. yeah, this is my space. So, I have some okay. carrots wow. cut up nice. here. Let me get a pot. I have these nice stainless steel. I'm amazed she didn't make us like sit there the entire time she went and got that pot just to waste more time. Pots my wow. husband got for me a little while back. My husband got it for me every week. Do you believe me? Do you believe, do you believe, do you believe me? Yeah, he lost me. <laughs> when he heard I, I wanted to be cooking more, he got excited about that. Sure, bro. So I have two. Well, I love that she like, ah! and then immediately her face goes back to this because even she doesn't believe that bullshit. Um, carrots cut up here. Wow. And didn't I didn't wash it. them thoroughly. So I'm just did going you? to cut the oh stem out. Oh my God. Exciting. Oh I don't my have a trick for that. God. However way you can struggle with it. Have you ever held a knife before? How do you get to 450 pounds without ever holding a knife before? The best way. <laughs> there the we go. Fuck? Came out pretty easy. She holds it like a toddler holds like a fucking crayon. Just take a knife and go underneath, kind of. Wow, thanks. Here. Okay. I can't believe we seriously have like the granny cooking method. She is sitting in a chair, cutting vegetables. Like, bro, I thought, isn't she the one who said her sciatica? is worst when she's sitting and she is sitting in a hard wooden chair cutting vegetables instead of standing which would help her sciatica 
She's just so lazy. Just admit you're lazy and fat, and it's not that you have sciatica. I'm going to cut some of the brown parts off. I'm going to cut off all the rotted bits, you know, okay, so as many as I can. Yep, oh, yep, there we go. Oh, my God. This is the woman who said she's going to start a cookbook because she's learned so many recipes, guys. Doesn't even know how to cut up a cauliflower. Look at the face. Look at her. I'm going to be blending this. Someone's just asked her to fucking like long division. Someone has come through with it. Like, X equals MC fucking times 32. And she's just like, that is the face she pulls trying to work that out in her head. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing. No. <laughs> ah, I don't know what I'm doing. Why did you just put, she just put, when she was waiting to put that other stuff in, in like the pot or whatever, she put that in the rubbish bag to sit there. <laughs> Put it in the rubbish bag. I took it out again. Oh my god! I can't believe. Look at that. Last bit. Usable cauliflower. You're terrible. There you go. The usable cauliflower, because you know it's only some of it's rotted. So I'm just gonna add some oh water. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you get to see more water. Yay! Oh. It's barely covering. So excited. Cauliflower and carrots. It's not actually, but okay. And yay. Gonna... She's trying a little bit harder this time, I guess, instead of having the cover the, the camera like stuck in a corner somewhere, like filming her arse 90% of the time. Let that come to a boil. Yep. On cover it, cook it on like medium heat, let it boil down, For let the long. vegetables cook, For so long. tender, pork tender, and then we're gonna go on from there. Now Did she just say pork tender? <laughs> what? I'll be back for step two of the soup when the vegetables are cooked. I out of breath from standing for 10 seconds. By the way, I forgot to add some chicken bouillon cubes. Okay. Like standing. Uh, I thought she was like, like, what's the point of cooking the chicken? If you're just going to put some chicken bouillon cubes in there, why didn't you use like the runoff of the chicken you're currently cooking? Wouldn't that make sense if you're trying to like be like economical and save money and save like the items that you're using not be wasteful. Wouldn't that make more sense? I'll do that now. They'll do the boiling down nicely. Look at her. She's like a fucking squirrel trying to... She's like a squirrel holding a nut because she's got these little tiny little fucking arms and her big everything fucking else. So when she's opening, it's like busy like cuddled up against her tits as she's like fluttering around with it with her big sausage fingers, barely able to open it because it's small. There you go. I believe in you. Oh, look at her. Look at her go. Oh, beautiful. Why are your fingers so sweaty? Look at the fake sweaty ass fingers. Oh my god. This is gonna be forever. Stop cues. Yep. Look at me sideways. I sense this is gonna take literally forever to do like anything. But did you still firm so we'll let them cook? Thanks. It's gonna be dirty. Uh. I know. I always get dirty when I'm cooking. Yeah, I imagine it's because you don't know how to cook. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Maybe because you're super morbidly obese and your tits literally get fucking everywhere. Could be any of those reasons. It's also going to be you're just fucking uncouth. There we go. Yep, there we All go. All right, be back. Maybe you set fire to yourself. The milk is in the way. <laughs> While that milk is in the way. It is, yes. <laughs> Did she do that to try and be like, you know, one of those, oh, whoopsie guys, I'm so crazy in my kitchen. Did she do it for that reason or is she just so lazy she can't just restart now? While that's uh, still cooking, I'm going to um, make some pita chips for the soup. Wow. She seriously lent in like she was like a host of like a PBS show in the fucking 70s. And it's like, guys, what I'm going to do now is lean in. Make some pita chips. Wow. <laughs> She's trying to make it sound really exciting. How many, how many pita are we going to go through here? Is this a personal selection? Is this Always for seven freeze of them? Bread that's gonna go bad because. Always freeze bread that's going to go bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or you could eat it before it goes bad. You know, one of the two. You can use it for things like croutons, uh -huh. chips. Uh huh. So this is the oldest. It's this fucking idiot. Seriously. Seriously. Explain to me here that if something's going to go off, it might be a good idea to freeze it because it prolongs its life. It's like, yeah, bro, no shit. Bread, I have. I'm just going to go okay. and microwave it, actually. You know what? She, it's so weird that she, I love that she tried to peel those apart and realized she couldn't, so she has to thaw them out quickly. Because, of course, she doesn't think far enough ahead in this. They have taken them out of the freezer earlier to let them dethaw naturally. No, she has to take them out and now stick them in the fucking microwave to do a rapid dethaw because she's too fucking stupid. Like, 
Bro, mo didn't she like boast about how cheap everything was in this country? Wouldn't you be at the point where you're just like, do you know what? Maybe I shouldn't get out my oldest pit of bread that is frozen solid. It's gonna taste fucking gank. Maybe instead of doing that, I'm just gonna have some of my fresh pit of bread that we got because it's mm, so fresh. Throw no shit, it's in the freezer! Kind of steams it. She's so dainty. Also, it's plastic. It'll probably fucking melt the bag, you dumb shit. Why would you put a plastic bag in a microwave? <laughs> That's just it's like you're just gonna like give yourself cancer. <laughs> ah! Baking dish. Oh, fantastic. Jesus Christ. Like She's just so ungainly at everything she does. It's important everything is up here. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like it wasn't really planned out too well at all. Like, there's loads of cupboard space over here. What the fuck have you got in all these cupboard space when everything is sitting out in the open or on top of your fucking fridge? Parchment paper? Yep. I'm just sitting here having my yogurt. This has been a good day so far. Parchment paper is like my baking sheet, I swear. Okay. Okay, isn't that the point That's of it? it. Perfect. Mm. Only a little bit cancery. Now, I'm just gonna rip it in pieces like this. Yep. Notice. Thanks. All those little pieces. I honestly thought she was doing that because she was going to fucking eat it. I, I just, I seriously thought just the smell it set off and she was just gonna start munching on it. There you go, bro. Go on. Oh, all the exercise she needs. Look at her. Look at her go. World's strongest woman. I can't believe we're just saying her. Obviously, delicious fried as well. Individually. We're gonna kind of oven fry them. Uh huh. It's fine. It's called, it's called baking them, then not frying them. You fucking idiot. Keep this bread. Sure. Actually, it's in pretty good condition still. Sure, bro. Sometimes I. Like That's my snack for later on. Throw a bit of bread to the pigeons that come on the windowsill. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> No, you don't. The only reason you do that is if you're trying to lure them closer to you so you can eat the whole pigeon. I'm gonna make a little bit here. I can't wait. Okay. And? Has she mentioned this being for Sala in any way? Because I know the only time she's mentioned Sala so far is, my husband bought me some stainless steel pots. Because he's trying to flex because he thinks stainless steel is a flex, I guess. But that's the only time she's mentioned him so far. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil. Yep, that is usual for you. And? I'm just waiting for her to take a swig of that, honestly. I don't, I don't know where the lid for my salt is. It's oh. such a disaster. Why the fuck do you lose it? Your house is like six foot squared. A little bit of salt. Mm hmm Do you think she ate it? Do you think it's like... Is it like the Pringles top? Do you think it's in one of her folds and she just hasn't realized yet? This little fan... Awesome yep. for the kitchen. <laughs> wow, thanks for letting me know. And then we're just gonna shake them around like that. Yep. So they get nice and coated with oil. She looks nearly tired just doing that. Hi. We got her fucking Wallace and Gromit face here. <laughs> yeah. She really, she's making this look like it's so difficult. You're just spreading it out. Calm down. <laughs> temperature before I bake these, all right? And I'll see you guys back when they're done. All right, let's see if this is finished. Stop, so stop, tender. stop, 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 stop. Stain the steel pot. Stop, 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 stop with a metal fork. You just hear it scraping away there. I'm so glad you're treating that stainless steel pot very well. Okay. He's so bad with everything she does. So I'm just gonna turn the heat up high yep. and let some of the liquid just like uh, evaporate because I want to add milk. God, oh, she's using the big words here. I add too much liquid. I don't really measure when I cook. I should start I so I can share my recipes with you guys, but. Yeah, because your food looks, oh, so scrumptious. I'd really want to be able to make that. The fuck has she ever made? Chicken pot pie? Her greasy as fuck chicken pot pie? Oh, I'd love to make your fucking dinner banquet 16 people chicken pot pie and eat it all by myself. Maybe I should do that and see if I die. So that'll evaporate on high heat. Uh, that'll be on high heat. Thanks for letting us know. We weren't sure. Alright, I'm gonna turn the heat down. Oh, yep. How the fuck? Look at her! Hi! How do you get dirtier with every passing nanosecond? She's the fucking state. So I'm like, I realize that she literally has a gravity to her. So she pulls shit towards it. So if she drops some dust, it will just like bend and come at her. Like, I understand that. But, bro, hi! Jesus Christ, she's got bigger biceps than I do. I feel ashamed of myself. Look, 
Look at that upper arm. Look at that upper arm of that girl. Damn. Garlic powder? I wasn't listening at all, sorry. Yep. I didn't have any. <laughs> uh-huh. So. Maybe, maybe you should have bought some. <laughs> I'm such an amazing domestic goddess, home cook. But I don't have any ingredients. I just have to use all the store-bought pre-prepared shit. Yeah. Garlic yep. powder? Good answer. Yep. Yeah. All right, Amber, calm down. Black pepper. I can't believe we're just sitting here watching this. Every once in a while in my head, I go, I'm kind of enjoying this, but should we just be skipping? Because it's kind of like the same thing over and over again now. Whole milk? She's, what she means is she's going to drink the whole milk. That is quite a lot of milk. Oh, no, just go. Oh, there you go. There you go. I love she seriously was like, I don't really measure what I'm doing. I just kind of wing it, guys. And then she pours in quite a lot. And it stops. And it's not like she adds, like, a, 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 a little splash more. She adds literally exactly the same amount again the second time. Then. So she was, like, unsure the first time. Mm, is this enough? I oh, fucking I'll just double it just to be sure. Got a stir? Yep. I love she keeps All right, so here we go. Jeez. Now I'm going to blend the vegetables. You're so loud, son. I love she keeps checking to see if she's still, like, I guess in frame, even though like the camera hasn't moved, so of course you're gonna be. I'll be right back. I can't wait. But you're not gonna be right back. Oh, are we just gonna sit here? We're gonna watch all this. Fantastic. So that's what it looks like. I'm I want to know how long it took you to do that because you looked really concerned trying to do that earlier. I'm gonna add the cheese. Oh, I can't wait. How much cheese? Some cheddar. How many bags have you already put in it? That's what I want. I want. I want. I want proof. There's no cheese in that already. What? Is she seriously looking to see if it's moldy? Like it's all congo it's congoagulated, conge congealed together. <laughs> it's all congealed together already. Like I don't know. Like the fact that she, the fucking poutine cheese queen, had to take it out, look concerned at it, sniff it, and then lean in and fucking give it a close visual examination. That tells me, for a normal human, that cheese would kill you. Okay. Okay, so, like, why- Are you not gonna, like, make a point about why you had to examine your cheese? <laughs> oh, only the first handful gets examined? The rest? Ah, it's probably okay. The first handful was fine. The rest is probably gonna be fine, too. <laughs> I have to eat off right now. How did you hit yourself in the tits with your fucking soup? Hi, look at her. She's got soup tits. <laughs> She's got... Oh, how many fistfuls? There's more cheese in there than cauliflower now. One more? Just one more? Ah, go on. Spoil yourself. Ah, go on. Go on, go on. Keep an eye on your pitas. Ah, yeah. Keep an eye on your pitas. Keep an eye on your fucking cholesterol level. I'll keep an eye on the pitas. Look at this. How much cheese is in there? I'm going to turn the heat on a little bit. Okay, fantastic. A bit more, a bit more. I just a, milk. just a, just a, go on, treat yourself, love. Just treat yourself. We splashed more milk. We splashed more whole milk. I, I don't know how this dainty queen ever made it to 450 pounds. You guys are crazy. Look at her. Look, not a, not a dime over 200 pounds. But this thing's like 80% fucking fat. Look at it. There's so much. She, honest to God, nearly used like at least half of that. What else are you going to put in there? Any other types of cheese you want to try? I'm just going to let the cheese melt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> is that just what we're calling this whole concoction now? It basically is just cheese. Oh my god, look at it. It's so clumpy All right, looking. here's pita chips. Yep, there are pita chips. Nice yep. and crunchy. Yep, Yeah. are. So, no, this I entire meal so far is uh, rotting cauliflower, kind of rotten carrots, fucking loads of rotten cheese, Lots of milk and kind of rotten pit of fruit. <laughs> Diabetes wet drink. I didn't have to add any extra salt. Please tell because me. Because the cheese and the bouillon is salty. Yes. Yep. But yep. you can salt it to your taste. I'm sure you did. 100% you added extra salt. Come on, you, you're just thinking, how can I make this any less healthy? You either put salt in there or like a fucking monster energy drink. All right, it's just about done, guys. Is it? <laughs> All right, so it's finished. Let's Better you it than up. me. Try so gross. Right, let's Why is it such a big pot as well? Because you didn't really make very much. Like, it's a, such an unnecessarily large pot. This up. Yep, yep. Uh, it smells amazing. Does it? it it's only going to smell like cheese. God. You could put that on a fucking...
pizza and be ready to go. You wouldn't need any other toppings. Oh, are we just going to see her very slowly find a fucking bowl? Thanks, kid. Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's so thick and congealed looking. Thanks. Here's look it. at the... Look at the... Uh, face as she's like slowly fucking scooping them in, crouched in like fucking Igor in the corner here. And then she finally puts all her pitter chips in and she's like... Like, smile at the camera. It's like, you do realize we saw you for, like, the 30 seconds before that. Suddenly putting on the fake, like, like Wal what do they call it? A McDonald's greeter or Walmart greeter? I don't know. We're going for Walmart today. It's a Walmart greeter. Smile on. Bro, I saw how miserable you looked 10 seconds ago. All right. <laughs> Trying to Ready? squeeze in the frame. <laughs> Flour, and Cauliflower. <laughs> it sounds like false advertising. <laughs> Cauliflower had nothing to do with this disaster. Oh, just carrot in there. Sure, bro. The pita chips? Just cheese. So Just cheese. It's not crunch anymore. You're sticking them in there. It's hot. Oh, shit, bro. Ugh. Look at that thing. Mm, very hot. I wonder if she gets so much dick. Look at this thing. Look at her. <laughs> you look at this woman, you go, like, I could survive a winter on you. Her upper arm is bigger than my thigh. Look at the sweat pouring off her. Jesus Christ. Who knew fucking pouring out some soup was such hard work? So good. Is it? Is that why you don't add any salt to your shit anymore? Because you know eventually you're just going to sweat into it and that's the extra seasoning. There you go. Bite for you. What? Just, oh, look at her. Those pita chips. Those pita chips. I think you mean the cheese. Like, that's all you're going to taste is the cheese. Look at the amount of sweat on her. The carrot adds like a sweetness. All she did was put some soup in a bowl and she is pissing this is sweat. So simple? This was so simple. Well, of course it was. Literally all you did was stick some fucking cauliflower and some carrots in a bowl and then drown them in cheese. Like you literally waterboarded something with cheese. She looks like she hates it so much. <laughs> she looks like she hates it. Why do you hate it so much? It's just cheese. Could I had some... Cheese? I'm sorry, I meet my yogurt again. <laughs> what does she notice? <laughs> Did someone come in and steal her cheese? A pigeon just came and got some bread on my window, so... Get it? Why did you look so annoyed by that? <laughs> if, if you thought that was all cute and funny, why, why would you look so annoyed by it? It's probably a fucking big dung beetle. So delicious. Mm. Oh my god. Okay, there's like... Two minutes left. Are we just gonna sit here and watch you like eat this like absolute shite for two minutes? I love she claims she just cleaned her entire fucking kitchen. Look how dirty the side of her fucking washing machine is. Oh. Wow, even more. You can even dip it. <laughs> ah, you can even dip it. And by that I mean I wanted more carbohydrates for my diabetic diet. She looks like she hates it. Uh, if the rest of it is going to be her very slowly sitting here doing a mukbang, I'm just going to skip to the end. I'm enjoying doing these videos for you guys and sharing my recipes with you. What recipe? You can what recipe? Guys, do you want to try my recipe? Okay, well, you get some cauliflower, you get some carrots, you put them in a bowl. And then, um, you just add lots of cheese, I guess. What recipes are you showing us? Like, genuine, what the fuck has she made recently? Freezer burnt chicken pot pie. And whatever the fuck this shit is, that's all she's made recently. Okay, bro. Make something out of whatever you have in your pantry, your fridge, your freezer. Jeez. Don't ever think that you have Jeez. nothing because you'd be surprised what you can do. What the fuck are you talking about? You're like the last person who can say this when everything you have to get is fucking brought in. Um, I had some vegetables that were going to go bad, some cheese. Yep. You know, I had to use the milk. Yep. And Did you? Um, Wedding ring is falling off again, magically. Comforting. Cheddar cauliflower she is the most depressing person i've ever heard talk about food because like not everything about food has to be comforting she just grabbed a fucking ice maca as comforting chicken pot pie comforting pizza comforting why is food comforting to you what do you need to be comforted for i thought you were living your best life i thought you're having an amazing time guys why does everything suddenly need to be comfort food for you soup with baked pita chips wow so yeah I guarantee my yogurt's nicer. Mm. Yeah, okay, we're skipping to the on board. Oh, before I go, I want to show you the chicken dinner result. I did have a oh, little what? bit myself. Some rice and some roast chicken. I 
had a little bit myself. You made it for yourself. She was like, wait, was the chicken dinner? Was that her pretending she was making that for Salah? Was that, like, you obviously made it for yourself. You're, I, I had a little bit myself. Literally an entire por person's portion. <laughs> I, had a, I had a little, I had a, I had a crumb or two, guys. This is an entire normal. Somebody would say you'd eat half of that would be a normal person's portion. Like I, me, I eat quite a lot. I'm going to say I do eat quite a lot, like, but I burn it off. I would eat this. This would be like a me portion, and I'd be pretty fucking full up. this. I wouldn't have a soup with potato, with uh, pita chips in it, like two portions, because you saw I have two portions already, basically, and then this. And I made with the chicken drippings a nice that. chicken gravy to go on top. It was very delicious. I hope I, you're having something good for dinner. See you next video. I'm having a yogurt, so it's stunning. I can't believe that you're seriously sitting here showing us your second dinner and trying to act like, oh the, yeah, the other one, I could, yeah, I cooked that for Salah. What, can Salah not have cauliflower soup or something like that? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, I don't know, did I enjoy that? Yeah, I kind of enjoyed that video, so it was fun, funny enough. Um, kind of got boring towards the end and there were some bits that were very de deliberately her just wasting time, but I'd rather have like wasting time when she's like doing something stupid and terrible in the kitchen and being an awful cook than like, her walking around videos where it's like wasting time. It's like, well, what are you going to do? Oh, well, we're going to very slowly drive down a road to find a, a parking spot by this abandoned building. We're going to spend two minutes finding a parking spot. Like that kind of shit. Like I'd rather have her like awkwardly try and blend something for 10, 15 seconds than that kind of shit. Uh, yep, let's get on to the next video. Okay, guys, I know this back in this chapati chicken filth and cheese sabosek. <laughs> Gonna go with that. Mukbang. Uh, remember I, I said last time, like, you know, she did this whole big song and dance about, like, you know, her home cooking so much better. And I was like, okay, how long until we get a take a takeaway? L literally the next video. Uh, I'm glad to say literally the next video. <laughs> can't believe it. I can't believe literally the next video is fucking takeaway shit. Oh, my God. Fantastic. I guess we're just going to get straight into this. I don't really think there's anything crazy or anything like that in the, in the thumbnail. I think this is one of, like, her most viewed videos in a while, actually. Won't be sec. Yeah, it is one of her most viewed videos in a while. It has 11,000 views, which for her is incredible. It's incredible numbers for her to get 11,000. But of course, it's like her pulling like a big fat face, you know, on it. Saying, eat with me. You know, that kind of shit. So, uh, yeah, I guess it was a very deliberate thing. Obviously, people are just here for the double denim as well, because I do love the full denim of Aya. It is my favorite. So, um, I guess we're just going to go. I don't know what this is. Like, it looks like samosas or something like that. Um, I don't know what this is. It just looks like vomit. Hello guys, Hello welcome guys. to another video. Today I have like a mixture, it's pretty eclectic mukbang. Okay. Um, is this it? is what I'm having for lunch. So I have some refrigerator carrot pickles that I made. Refrigerator carrot pickles. Myself. <laughs> I have my homemade gravy. Here you I have some chapati rashid and chapati halloum, okay. halloumi. Some cheese sambusa, and this is okay. called. What is it? This is a pastry. Warbat. It... Warbat. Is it like Batman's fucking like battleship or something like that? The war bats? <laughs> like what the fuck? Oh, I'm trying to check out cheese sambu. Okay, so that's a, the cheese sambusek there. They look quite nice. They look like samosas. Um, if I have samosas is the right word that I'm thinking of, but they, they look quite nice. But I, I do like this little fried parcel kind of dealios. This is a war bat. It looks like a parcel. It looks like it might be sweet. It's like a baklava pastry, but inside it's like pasta. Okay. Yeah. Like cream. Okay, and I have quite nice. some water. Sure you do. No Pepsi this time there, love. I love when she just... Look at her! She's just... Ah, ah, ah. She's actually grunting with effort to pour a liter bottle of water. <laughs> to lift a liter bottle of water, she is grunting with effort because it's the most work she's ever done in her entire fucking life. But I love, like I said, just... It's like the cooking thing. Her just deliberately wasting time. She's just like, hey guys, oh, no, I know I could have already done that, but uh, I guess I'm just going to sit here and make you watch me slowly pour my drink. Ice water. Yep, I noticed. Thanks. <laughs> I want to try these pickles. I can't wait. I don't know how they're going to be. Quite pickly, I assume. Quite pickly, I assume. Because that's something you could have said. Is that a plastic fork? Jesus fucking. Right. Because that's, that's something she could have easily made a point of. You know when she was doing the whole like, well guys, if your vegetables are about to rot, you can freeze them. You know that shit. You could have also made a point that you can also pickle vegetables if you don't think you're going to use them all. Yep. Why wouldn't you use your shit hands? What? <laughs> you literally used a fork to dish it out and then you used your shit hand, pass it to your normal hand, and now you're going to eat. How is that? Is it good? 
You look. You meant to say that first. I know it's fine. You're a fake Muslim, so I understand that you don't actually understand the culture whatsoever. It's 100% fine. Don't worry about it. Mm. Do you want to try ironing your abaya, though, by the way? Look at this shit. <laughs> look at it. It's like, it's not iron. It's probably too fresh. She probably just picked it up off the ground. Because, like I said, I don't believe she wears all this shit around the house. Like, I know she doesn't have to, because, like, even if she lives with Salah, she wouldn't. But it's obvious to me that she doesn't ever wear this shit. Because how often do we see her trip on her abaya still? How often do we see her, you know, hijab coming loose and her time to fix it? Or blowing in her face or blowing away and she has her time to tuck it back in again? How often do we see it? It's because it's clear that she never wears it because she never leaves the fucking house. So, like, she obviously just had that chucked on the floor somewhere and just went and put it on and stuck it on for this. Let's go. Is that nice? Yum. What the fuck? That was a bit of a delayed reaction to your overly fake, like, toddler dance. Cheese sambusa? Yep. With homemade gravy? I can't believe it is like, it is like the shittest KFC ever. It is like a cheese parcel dipped in thick ass fucking gravy. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at my dainty queen here. Oh, I miss this. Oh, I miss this from being away for a wee while there. Yeah, I, I I don't know what we're going to be talking about. Like I said, there's no real sign in the in the thumbnail. So I guess we're going to skip quite hard talking about her story. Yeah. I love she like pops her eyes because obviously, like I said, food is porn to her. But she's popping her eyes. It's like, it is you dipping it into thick like chicken gravy. And you say, just a lump of like deep fried cheese you're putting in there. Of course you're going to like it. My eyes were beauty today, but now they're all open wide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 450 pounds and I might die soon. Haha, <laughs> jeez. This is my cheese sambusa face. That is your cheese sambusa face. <laughs> it's the closest thing you've had to an orgasm in 20 years. Ugh. Remember the way I've made a point numerous times before where it's like if you don't have a personality, you just kind of pull faces? Um, th thanks, Chantel, for living up to that. I make the best gravy. Do you? All right, so this is... It's not even your gravy! <laughs> you stock you! What are you talking about? Chapati bread and Indian bread, so good. Yep. With zaatar, thyme, yep. seasoning, tomatoes, olives. Looks quite nice. Golden cheese. Looks quite nice. Looks quite nice, yeah. She is so food aggressive. What happened? I don't even remember when this was filmed. What happened today to make her so food aggressive? Like, this is proper binge from her. This is proper, mm -hmm. like, I need to fill a hole in myself. I need to just stick food in my face ASAP. So how is everybody? I'm okay. T taking along, as they say. Mm. How are you doing? How's your diabetes? Have you still got two feet? Have you still got ten toes? Go on, you gotta get me <laughs> gotta keep me up to date with this. I just realized. The, the, you wanna bite a card? Thanks for realizing that, I guess. I'm trying to figure out how to like do this better with because like it is just a pain in the ass to try and edit around her eating. So I'm just like, should I just like, talk over her eating? Maybe that'll be better. I lost my no order and challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I lost my no order and challenge. <laughs> Two hours after I made it. It's like, yeah, we know, bro. Oh well, I'm a failure. We know. We know, trust me, bro. We can see ya. We can see your waistline. Okay, I'm just gonna jump in here because I don't know if I've actually even breathed for the last seven minutes or whatever it was um i thought this is such a beautiful visage for you as well when we all stop and have a we look at this basically she is just like she introduced all of the food over again and like pretty much every single time she ate it she just reintroduced it again and then started talking about how she really likes pickles and she made her own pickles and how she really likes pickles and how you can make pickles yourself and it, that was pretty much it for like a very very long time it was the most boring thing i think i've ever experienced my favorite bit though was when she goes like, this jar, uh, the pickles are actually from Iran. Oh, I'd love to go to Iran one day. Oh, I would love it so much. It's, there's so much culture in Iran. I would love to learn about all the culture in Iran. It's like, bro, you don't even know the culture, Kuwait. And you apparently lived there for a year. Fuck off. I want to visit Iran to learn the culture of Iran. Bro, you can't even speak Arabic. <laughs> can't even speak Arabic. You don't leave your apartment. You you, you want to go to Iran to see its culture because you like their pickles. Fuck away. That's all she said. That's really all she said the entire time. But it, 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 there's not even a story this time. It is just her sitting there going, "Oh, this this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, chibati. Uh, uh, it's pop. It's popular. Uh, uh, this is like a samosa. Uh, it's it's pretty popular too." Uh, this is like the, uh, it's like, 
It's basically uh like baklava. It's 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 popular too. That is her entire insight on this food. But no, guys, she wants to be the Canadian diplomat to fucking Iran to go and learn their culture. But she can't even tell you what the food she's eating right now. So last night I did a live stream. I'm like, did anyone show up for it? <laughs> Sorry, she finally spoke. Is that it? Seriously? Can you not even finish like that fucking card first? You gotta have to get a second one. This is your fucking dessert. Why are you putting your pickles with your dessert? I love I she's just giving up on the fucking spoon though. And she's now just like dipping her entire fist into her fucking jar. I'm falling asleep. Huh? And then I stayed on so long. I kind of got like a second wind. Okay. I don't, I, I don't know what live stream she's talking about. She's just describing there was a live stream at some point. Anything? Am I going to even have to include this? I don't even know if I'm going to end up including this because I don't even know what's what's being said. But when I crash, God, I hope you find your point in that pickle. I crashed hard. Jesus Christ, is that it? Did I start speaking again for that? Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to make you all watch that because. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck you. <yes. laughs> I can't believe that. What the fuck? We just got like weirdly quiet suddenly. And we just had this. What <laughs> the fuck? Did she have a mini stroke or something like that? It just went awkwardly quiet, and she's kind of blankly stared ahead, had a drink, and then stared ahead, and then went back to eating again. Like, did she genuinely have a stroke? Also, you know the story about the, the uh, she she was tired after doing a live stream. Yeah, that literally never never came up again. I uh, <laughs> just I don't know why it was mentioned. I don't know what live stream she's even referencing. But yep, yeah, she mentioned it. Then she just went back to eating. That's about it, guys. I got bored, so I was looking at the comment section, and there are all these people saying like, Oh my god, I'm so happy to see you're finally being so happy. Look how fucking miserable she is. After the initial first few bites of her food, she just sat there looking miserable. The mini stroke thing, not even a joke. She's just sat there looking miserable the entire time. And there are all these people, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm very much one of the people I believe that a lot of her beezers are just trolls. A lot of her beezers who aren't trolls are like, just generally fucking idiots like and then the remaining part of the beaver be beavers of her beavers her big hairy beavers is uh, they're they're people who genuinely want to see her die that is actually my opinion is that a lot of her beavers are actually those type of fe feeder fetishists who want her to die they want to see her eat herself to death because there are all these people going, oh my God, this is so much healthier than what I had for dinner tonight. Oh my God, Queen, you're doing so well. Oh my God, you know what you're doing with your body. Don't listen to any of these people saying that you shouldn't be eating stuff. Like, like people like that, I'm like, you are genuinely one of those people who wants to see her eat herself to death. Like, I, that is entirely my opinion of her because I don't actually think that she has like a dedicated base of people who actually like her. My, in my opinion, her, her fan base are genuinely terrible people who are very much similar to her and they see themselves in her and they want to be like oh my god you're so amazing by the way i want to be a famous youtuber too there are people who like genuinely want to see her eat herself to death and then there are just the trolls who will just say whatever to try and get in close to her so they can kybella eventually you know this that was after a jump cut this reaction that's life say la vie she looks so miserable this is after a jump cut um, <laughs> the fake smile instantly her face comes like this again like, this is the people go, you look so much happier. This, this is her the entire time. Sticky. Sticky. That was yummy. I made sure you didn't just lick it clean. I can't believe how well my pickles turned out. Really? I was like, mm, are these gonna turn out? you only get like three of them. <laughs> I imagine they didn't turn out that nice, you didn't eat more of them. Not okay, but they did. She looks miserable. Why don't you just look happy? Pretend to be happy. They're so good. Wow, if I cross my eyes, guys, does that mean I'm in a good mood? Does that give me personality? It doesn't? Fuck. Sigh. <laughs> She's so miserable. Anyways, guys. How can you not even... It, really. You're only on video for 16 minutes. How can you not pretend to be happy for 16 minutes? I'm kind of tired. Uh-huh. You're kind of miserable. Well, I'm tired. Yep, miserable. 
I know people think I'm down. You I'm are. Tired, really you are. Tired. I am just so tired, guys. I'm just like, just, I've been up uh, wor working and, uh, you know, doing stuff like, you know, all day. No, you're fucking miserable, bro. You're so miserable about people laughing about Salah not existing. You had to bring Salah into the fucking live stream. That is how miserable you are, is that you had to already backtrack on the Salah's gone gone for everything. You've already had a backtrack on that. That is how miserable you are. Um, I'm just tired, guys. I'm not sad at all. That's it. That's all. I'm, I'm sure I'll be... Uh, embarrassing. I'll have some energy at some point. Sure, bro. Inshallah. Alright guys. You look like you're about to cry. Now he's a fake smile. She's like actually getting a teary eye. She looked like she was about to cry. I'm, I'm, I see guys, I'm so happy. Bye, bye, bye guys. <laughs> Alright, we'll do one more of these. Let's go. Okay guys, we're back with Middle East Feast. Middle East Feast, fantastic. Arab comfort foods. Foods, fo fuck, why can I not speak? Jesus Christ, the yogurt has gotten to me guys. Um, I'm just going to show this introduction because she has a new introduction and it is awful. And I just want you to listen to the audio quality of her microphone when she does her introduction. Hi, welcome back to another video. <laughs> why, why is your microphone quality so dog shit? Also, yes, yeah, she has a terrifying filtered fi picture of her here that's giving her the pointy chin look and everything like that. Obviously, terrible. What are they? Like, like the other one, the, like the foodie beauty introduction was at least a wee bit memorable. And like more iconic than she ever was the, 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 yes she has referred to herself as iconic recently i will I, I, I will touch on that like but yeah that was actually like somewhat memorable and like interesting this is just boring uh we're gonna skip the cameo okay guys and we are coming in like i said this is the middle east feast arab comfort foods once again it is another takeaway <laughs> it is another takeaway we've got kinzical over here because everyone laughed at her last time because she was drinking pepsi and that was obviously against boycott i guarantee if you probably looked it up it's probably also on the boycott list but why not Every, everything i see eats i just assume is on the boycott list uh i guess we're just gonna get into this i don't really think there's anything funny in the thumbnail for this one like whatsoever either so let's go hello guys Hi. welcome back salam alaikum i know she instantly has to fix the fucking uh, hijab video. so um yep Let's have dinner. I love she calls it the eat with me videos now as opposed to mukbang. We're together. So today I'm having yep. some Middle Eastern food that you can find very easily here. So. <laughs> some Middle Eastern food that you can find easily here in the Middle East. It's like, what? No. No. She's so fucking stupid. I have some grape leaves, my and favorite, lemon. with some lemon. Yep. I have different kinds of sambusa. Yep. More cheese. Uh, More cheese. Um, <laughs> I love she genuinely has no idea what the fuck she's eating, so she just like, kip, 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 and then just like moves on. Fire, which is kind of like an empanada, Middle Eastern empanada. This has yep. meat and a cowie cheese. Yep. And this has fe um, halloum, halloumi, <laughs> olives. <laughs> it has halloum and halloumi? Jeez, both? <laughs> Zatar, which is thyme. She's so bad. And tomato. And these are lokma. They're yeah, like donuts, lokma, yeah. stuff with cream. Yeah. And this is Kinza, Saudi Arabia soda. All right. So <laughs> Did you see that we smug look at the end? That's because everyone laughed at her because she kept fucking breaking her boycott over and over again. Well, this looks like there's definitely no carbs on this whatsoever. Her, her diabetes must be doing great. She was wearing this fucking thing, like, in, in the like the one before last, because she made a point of it. I don't know if I included it. But she was wearing this in, like, one of her last... Um, Lockbangs, which was like two days ago, and I doubt she's fucking cleaned it since. Bismillah, it let's looks dig in. Filthy. I want to have some, one of these, these, uh, these are, these are, these are, these are, these are. Oh my god, fantastic. Like, what's with the lemon meant to do? You meant to squeeze a lemon on them because she just kind of looked like it was in the way. Mmm. They're not from a can. I like the can ones, but. So these are called Doma or. Warak Inab. I don't give a fuck, bro. You show me them so much. I do not care. I watched an amazing movie. Oh my yesterday. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eight and a half minutes. I was just like, I'm purposely not going to speak until she talks about something. Eight and a half. You know, way at the start, she went through and goes, This is Lachma. This is Grip Leaves. This is this. This is this. This is. She did that again. But more in depth for each thing again. Like I picked up one of these we some most of things. I wonder what's in this one. But mmm, mmm, that's mozzarella. 
Mm, it's really there's cheese inside it. I wonder what's in this and you pick up the other one. Mmm, um, that's pizza flavor. I haven't had a pizza flavor one before. Mmm, pizza. Oh, it tastes like pizza. And she just, just did that for each one individually. And each one then individually she said, it's overdue. I have to make my own finally. I really should start making these at home myself. Each individual thing she did, exactly the same thing. It was eight and a half minutes long. At one point during that, she just goes like, so, um, I hope you're all well. Thanks, thanks for watching. And I went back to describing the like. Oh, we'll try this. Oh, this has. I think. I think I taste cinnamon. Maybe, maybe pomegranate. That. And I was just like, holy fuck. She hasn't said anything. We get eight and a half minutes in, and it's like, I watched the movie recently. It's like, oh my god, thank god. I can't believe I'm excited for movie talk with Chantel. The woman's wearing me. It was weird. Oh. You're gonna get anything before you stick out in your fucking mic? No, you're not! A lot of cheese. Ja, cheese! Um. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, we in and a half minutes heard her say, I watched the movie, and then it takes about cheese. Thanks God. What did you watch? Anything? A cowie cheese? Oh my fucking Christ. It's kind of like a mozzarella. That's we're still talking about the cheese. I thought we were gonna talk about movies. That's why I finally started talking. I didn't think we started talking about the fucking cheese again. I sound like the Sajikar from fucking Dune there. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, God, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, my God. Jeez, my, my heart rate fucking went up. My heart rate went up to 95 there. <laughs> That's how depressed I was. That's how I find it tastes. I don't know. I don't give a fuck how you find it tastes. Anyway, the movie. Was it Dune? Did you watch Dune? <laughs> I hate this. What flavor is this? Jalapeno? Not oh, jalapeno. And cheese. This is literally, like I told you, this is what she did with every single one of, individually, one of those and those she bit into. It was exactly the same thing, where she holds up the camera, like, yeah, look at cheese. There's cheese in it. So, oh my god, okay, now my room cut to something. Sorry. <laughs> the movie is called- Oh my god, you remembered? Nowhere. I ain't given up enough to eat my yogurt. I don't even know what the fuck you- What's nowhere? And it's on Netflix. Do you know what? I'm going to assume that, that hearing about this movie I've never heard of it before is not interesting enough to piece it or get it around this shit. Okay, I'm back. It's just felt like this This one felt in particular just like a proper like binge. Like she, like it just a proper binge. All she talked about the entire time was food, which is quite rare. Usually there's like some nonsense story chucked in here or there. But this whole thing was about the food and talking about the food. and it, But not like an interesting way you felt like you were there. It was just like... Uh, I wonder what's in this. I wonder where this comes from. It might be from Jordan. Maybe Lebanon? I don't really know, but it's, it's, it's easy to get around here. It's really popular. You know, it's just, everything's popular. The bread's really fresh. Do you know that when you order food from places here, they make the bread fresh. They cook it for you fresh every single time. Because it's just like, like I said, the whole Middle East feast, Arab comfort foods, it really is like, it, it really is just her playing the character, playing the whole role. Oh my God, Middle East is the greatest thing that's ever existed. Gulf countries, greatest thing that's ever existed. All that kind of shit over and over again. And then the movie she mentioned, Nowhere. Okay, she mentioned it and pretty much said, people, it's, it's a subtitle movie. They're trying to escape an evil di dictatorship, evil fascist regime kind of thing. Uh, it's not for the pain of heart. That's really all she said. I don't know if I even played the second bit of her talking about it because she finally went back to it and didn't really see then anything about it and then just went back to talking with cheese. Like, there's, I guess there's nothing better than talking about the like, harsh di dictatorial regimes and then just going like, oh, this is really nice cheese. Um, And I, I looked at it and I was just like, I don't know if this is like, a very deliberate choice for her to bring up because it's all about like Europe turning into like an awful dystopian state that's like terrible and like tortures its civilians and is struggling financially and everything like that while she's sitting here talking about how the Middle East is like the greatest thing ever. What could it possibly be deliberate? Possibly. I don't know if she's that clever, but it, yeah, whatever. I let you, so, I, I got so bored I went and read the synopsis of the movie on the other screen. And for anyone overly interested, it sounds okay. At, at best, it sounds okay at best. It sounds like it's one of those things where if you like, like, like dystopian porn, like oppression porn, like movies and shows, you know, like where you want to like imagine like escaping. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.